Hi, welcome to part two of my tutorial on being able to factorise quadratics. I've got two examples here for you to do. These are a lot, uh, as soon as you've got a coefficient in front of the x squared, these become a lot more difficult. But there's a procedure that we can follow that, if you remember this, makes it fairly straightforward. What we're going to do first of all then, part one, we take the coefficient in front of the x squared and we multiply it by the four. That gives us 12. Write that over in the right hand corner. What we're now looking for is two numbers that multiply to give 12 and that add to give 7. So this time I could have 1 and 12, I could have 2 and 6, or I could have 3 and 4. Clearly it's going to be 3 and 4 that add to give you the 7. But what we now need to do is we need to split this 7 into those two numbers. So if we open the 7x up, write it out again, 3x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 4. All I've done is I've split the 7x into 3x and 4x. It does matter which way round you put these because I've put the 3 here because the 3 factorises better with the 3 in front of it and the 4 factorises better with the 4 behind it. If I did them the other way round, they wouldn't factorise so well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's called pairing. We're going to split it down the middle and we're going to have this pair and this pair. And each pair is going to be factorised individually. So look at this pair here, 3x squared plus 3x. Look for a factor of both of those terms. 3x occurs in both. So I'll write 3x and open up a set of brackets. Now what goes inside these brackets so that I can factorise this correctly? So 3x times x gives me 3x squared and 3x times 1 gives me 3x. 3x squared plus 3x. Do the same with the second one. I've got a positive here. What occurs in both? What's a factor of both? It's 4. Open the brackets. 4 times x gives me 4x and 4 times 1 gives me 4. Now all I need to do is I need to write whatever's outside the brackets in one set and whatever's inside in the other set. So I end up with 3x plus 4 in my first set of brackets and x plus 1 in the second set of brackets. If I then multiplied that out like we did, if you remember in part one, I would get back to that expression. Example two then. Same thing, but we've got a negative here. So if I do four times negative five, I get negative 20. I'm now going to try and look for two numbers that multiply to give negative 20 and that add to give negative eight. My combinations would be one 20, 2, 10, and 4, and 5. But of course this time, one of them has got to be a negative and one a positive to give me the negative 20 when I multiply them together. So now we can start thinking about which of these combinations is going to add to give us this one. So let's try this one. Could it be minus 1 add 20? Minus 1 add 20 gives us 19. That can't be correct. So put the minus on the other side. Could it be 1 add minus 20? That's going to give us minus 19. So that's not correct either. Look at the second one. Could it be minus 2 add 10? Minus 2 add 10 gives us positive 8. But it's not that. But we're getting close. Let's change it round. And what's 2 add a negative 10? Well, 2 add a negative 10 is just the same as 2 take away 10, which will give us negative 8. So this is my combination I'm looking for. I now have to split this negative 8 into the 2 and the negative 10. I'm going to do it this way round, so I've got 4x squared. Now, the 2 factorise better with the 4 because the 10 factorises better with the negative 5. So I'm going to do it this way around. So 4x squared plus 2x minus 10x minus 5. I've now got two pairs. 
I factorise each pair individually. So let's have a look at the first one. What is a factor of both 4x squared and 2x? It's 2x. Put the 2x outside the brackets. 2x times 2x gives me 4x squared. And 2x times 1 gives me 2x. Do the same with the second pair. There's a negative outside here, so put a negative there. What occurs in both? What's a factor of both? It's 5. So I'll write negative 5. Open the brackets. Negative 5 times what gives us negative 10x? Well, that's going to be 2x. And negative, time, negative 5 sorry, times what gives me negative 5? That's going to be positive 1. You should have realised by now that the part inside these brackets should always be the same. If it's not, you know you've done something wrong. So here we now write whatever's outside the brackets in one set and whatever's inside the brackets in the other set. 2x minus 5 in one set, 2x plus 1 in the other set.